In our last journey beyond the familiar skies, we chased the enigma of 3I Atlas, an interstellar comet tearing through our solar system like a cosmic bullet. But today, we go deeper. Armed with breathtaking new images from the Hubble Space Telescope, we'll witness this alien wanderer in stunning detail. First spotted by the Atlas Survey in July 2025, it's not just fast, it's the fastest comet ever recorded, screaming through the void at 130,000 miles per hour. Its path? A one-way ticket through our solar system, and then into the eternal darkness of interstellar space, never to return. This is more than a comet, this is a messenger from another star, and tonight, we uncover its secrets. On July 1, 2025, the NASA-funded Atlas Survey Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, detected a faint, fast-moving object against a starry backdrop. At first glance, it resembled a typical long-period comet, but orbital calculations told a different story. Its path was hyperbolic, meaning it wasn't bound to the sun's gravity. This was no local wanderer from the Oort cloud. It was an interstellar visitor. Archival pre-covery images from Atlas and Caltech's Zwicky Transient Facility revealed the object had been visible since mid-June, and even earlier data from NASA's test mission traced it back to May 7, 2025. By then, it was already active, outgassing at a distance of 6 AU from the Sun, far beyond the water ice sublimation zone. This early activity hinted at a composition rich in carbon dioxide ice, which vaporizes at much lower temperatures than water. Astronomers designated it 3I Atlas, the 3I marking it as the third confirmed interstellar object after 1I Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. But unlike Oumuamua's asteroid-like appearance or Borisov's more typical cometary behavior, 3I Atlas was a hybrid of the familiar and the alien. The Gemini South Telescope in Chile soon captured high-resolution images showing a coma, a halo of dust and gas, and a faint tail. But the tail structure was unusual. A teardrop-shaped anti-solar plume stretching 56,000 kilometers, dominated by CO2 rather than water vapor. This was confirmed by NASA's SPREX mission and the James Webb Space Telescope which measured a CO2 to water ratio of 8 to 1, the highest ever recorded in a comet. Adding to the mystery, the Very Large Telescope detected nickel vapor without iron, a chemical decoupling never seen in natural solar system comets. Some scientists propose exotic natural chemistry. Others, like Avi Loeb, speculated about industrial processes. From the moment of discovery, 3I Atlas became a race against time. Its speed, 209,000 kilometers per hour, meant it would spend only a few months in the inner solar system before vanishing forever. Every telescope on Earth and in space that could track it was mobilized. This was a once-in-a-lifetime chance to study material forged in another star system, possibly billions of years older than our Sun. At the heart of every comet lies its nucleus, a solid core of ice, dust, and rock, often described as a dirty snowball. For 3I Atlas, this nucleus is the oldest and most alien ever studied. Formed perhaps 7 to 11 billion years ago in the Milky Way's thick disk, it has drifted through interstellar space for eons, bombarded by cosmic rays and frozen in near absolute zero darkness. Hubble Space Telescope images taken in July 2025 estimated the nucleus to be between 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers across. The exact size remains uncertain because the coma, a vast cloud of dust and gas, obscures direct observation. But the coma's brightness and dust loss rate suggest a highly active surface. What makes this nucleus extraordinary is its composition. Spectroscopy from JWST SPREX and ground-based observatories revealed 95% CO2-driven outgassing, only 5% water vapor, trace amounts of carbon monoxide and cyanide compounds, nickel vapor without iron, breaking the standard cosmic pairing formed in supernovae. This chemical fingerprint is unlike any solar system comet. 
The dominance of CO2 suggests it formed beyond the CO2 ice line in its home system, a region colder and farther from its star than where most comets here originate. The nickel anomaly could point to unique planetary formation chemistry or something more exotic. The nucleus rotates once every 16.16 hours, creating day and night cycles about 8 hours long. This low spin means one side can remain sunlit long enough to heat deeply, causing localized jets of dust and gas. Hubble even detected a forward-facing glow, dust streaming ahead of the comet's motion rather than trailing behind. Studying this nucleus is like opening a sealed vault from another world. Its ices preserve the chemical conditions of a planetary system that may have formed before Earth existed. By comparing its isotopes and organics to those in solar system comets, scientists hope to learn whether the building blocks of life are universal or unique to our corner of the galaxy. The clock is ticking. On October 29, 2025, 3i Atlas will reach perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, at 1.36 AU between Earth and Mars. But from Earth's perspective, it will be behind the Sun making direct observation impossible during its most active phase. Fortunately, Mars will be in a prime position. The comet will pass just 30 million kilometers from the red planet on October 3, 2025. ESA's Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter will attempt to image it and capture spectra of its coma. NASA's MAVEN and China's Tianwen-1 may also join the effort. As it nears the sun, solar heating will intensify CO2 sublimation, potentially increasing dust and gas output dramatically. This is when comets are most likely to fragment, a possibility that could expose fresh interior material. If 3i Atlas breaks apart, it would give scientists an unprecedented look at its untouched core. There's also a chance for spacecraft flybys. NASA is considering redirecting the Juno spacecraft from Jupiter to intercept the comet in March 2026. If approved, Juno could use its infrared spectrometer, magnetometer, and microwave radiometer to study the comet up close. Humanity's first direct encounter with an interstellar object. After perihelion, 3i Atlas will swing back out of the solar system on a hyperbolic escape path. It will briefly reappear in Earth's skies in December 2025, then fade into the black forever. Its outbound velocity, 58 kilometers per second relative to the sun, ensures it will never return. This fleeting visit underscores the urgency. Every observation window is precious. Once it's gone, the next interstellar comet of this size and brightness may not appear for decades, if ever. 3i Atlas isn't just passing through. It's whispering the story of another star system across light years into our telescopes. And when it's gone, all we'll have are the images, the data, and the wonder it leaves behind. If you're as fascinated by these cosmic encounters as we are, like, share, and subscribe because the universe is full of mysteries and we're just getting started.